Ten is Internet Marketing Daily Quick Tip. Today's tip is on search engine optimization. Today's tip comes from the question, I have completed my business's Google Places profile. What else can I do to improve its chances of ranking well in the results? And that brings us to today's tip of the day. Get reviews from your satisfied customers to boost your Google Places profile performance. As we've talked about in the past, Google Places is where you can go to submit your local business to Google and you will start showing up in the Google Maps and Google Local results. And this is a good example right here on the screen. You type in auto insurance and it brings up local auto insurance carriers in your area. Google Places is a very powerful way for you to get local customers to your business through the search engines. Now in Google Places, you can actually put a lot of information and when you fill all that information in, your profile is then complete. But going beyond that, the next thing that you can do is you can get reviews on your profile for your business and that's going to help Google determine that you have a popular business or a business that has some activity around it. And this is going to usually increase your chances for showing up higher in the rankings for those Google Places results. So how can you get reviews? Number one, you want to make sure that you're making it as easy as possible for people to review your website. So send them instructions, tell them exactly what you're going to do when you're contacting them. And that's really going to help the people that you ask to do you a favor and give you a review actually get that accomplished. So some ideas for soliciting reviews. Number one, send an email or give a call to your best customers. If you have customers that you know really like you have been working for you for a long time and you have a good relationship with, you should go to those people and basically ask them if they can give you a review and then send them those instructions and tell them what they need to do. Also, if you're in a business that does follow-up calls with your customers, let's say you're a car dealer. If your salespeople follow up and call the individuals who purchase cars to see how things are going with the car, if everything is positive, you can then ask them to go and do a review for your dealership on Google Places. If you're the type of company that sends out a satisfaction survey after a purchase has been made and people return those to you and send back their feedback, if you get positive customers writing back and saying that they're happy with their experience in that survey, why not send them another email and ask them to give you a review? Again, it's a great way to engage those people that are going to leave positive reviews for your company and that will help your rankings in the Google Places results. And finally, if you have a newsletter that goes out to your customers, why don't you put a prompt to ask them to submit a review when they have a chance. This is a really good thing to do, especially if you have just a customer only newsletter, because those customers are most likely satisfied. They wouldn't be getting your newsletter if they weren't. Hopefully they'd unsubscribe. So it's a great place to ask for that review from your happy customers. So today's goal is to contact at least five people that you know of that would give you a positive review on Google Places if you asked. By asking for those reviews, by getting that positive feedback, you're going to have a very, very good chance of getting better rankings within Google Places. And that's today's Internet Marketing Daily Quick Tip. Next time, we're going to talk about Internet Advertising. If you haven't done so, check out Kutenda. Kutenda helps small and local businesses market themselves online efficiently using tools that help them with all aspects of online marketing, including building and managing websites, doing on-page search engine optimization, paid search marketing, local search marketing, email marketing, and we give you training so you know what you're doing when you're using our tools. So check out Kutenda at Kutenda.com. And also, if you're not watching, this via podcast. Make sure you get subscribed for our podcast. Just go to iTunes and in the iTunes store, type in Kutenda. You can then subscribe. This will automatically download into your iTunes and you'll be able to watch these on the go whenever you want. And it is, of course, free. So make sure you get on the list for our podcast and tell your friends about it. Thanks so much for watching today. Hope you have a fantastic day and we'll see you next time.